Okay, so here's a view of our plate. This is um, the plate that was inoculated one week ago with fern spores. And here we can see all those little dots are fern spores. This is underneath the dissecting scope. Over here to the right, though, we can see a nice one that's a lot bigger that is um, germinated out. And so you guys are supposed to draw these in your lab manual. I'll actually get a better view of this, but we'll focus in on that guy. And there we go. And there you go. So we can see that. We'll go even closer here. We'll focus in more, and we'll increase that light so you can see that guy better. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scalpel and just eyeballing get several of these and pull them off and make a wet mount. All right. So to do that, I'm going to go back a little ways. I'll locate a good spot on this plate. Let's focus it here. Where there are a lot of spores on here. Okay. And I'm actually going to take my scalpel underneath the scope here and grab them right underneath the scope. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to use the scope to get a little piece off of here. Okay, so I'm going to go down and look at this and get a little piece off of there. You see the one that I want? Okay, I got that one. Now I'm going to go over here, put my slide underneath, and check it out so that I get that little piece off of there onto the scope. Okay. And it's still right at the tip there. I want to get it into the solution there. Still at the tip. Trying to get it off into solution here. There it goes finally. Okay. There it is under the 10x magnification. Oh, sorry, 4x objective for 40x magnification. We'll focus it in. See that kind of spore coat on the outside edge of it there. Right. And we'll go up to 10x magnification. Probably all we have to do is 10x magnification at this point. Pretty nice when you see all those root-like things being rhizoids. The spore coat is all the um, brown stuff underneath it. Usually the spore coat is right at the base, but in this case the spore coat broke away a little bit, probably because of my scalpel. And then we can see a multi-celled green structure there. That multi-celled green structure there is a gametophyte. The fact that it's multi-celled is important. So P-H-Y-T-E, phyta, means plant. And gameta means the part of the plant that is going to make the gametes. Okay, so we started with a haploid spore. It then went through mitosis to make a multi-celled gametophyte. All of those cells are still haploid because it went through mitosis. The gametophyte then will make the gametes, which are eggs and sperm. And so next week then, this should be mature enough where we'll look at male gametophytes and we'll look at... Um, um, hermaphroditic gametophytes that have both male and female parts and then we will see flagellated spermatozoids and we'll watch them go in and fertilize eggs.